Today, we are going to tell you about the last major snowfall of Kashmir, which happened almost 140 years ago and caused a devastating famine and destruction of wildlife. This is a fascinating and tragic story that was recorded by an English naturalist named Richard Lidecker, who was appointed for a geological survey of Kashmir and Ladakh in 1874. He wrote a detailed account of this abnormal snowfall and its effects on the land and the people, which was published in the Journal of the Asiatic Society of Bengal in 1879. But before we get into that, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of our new videos. And if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Now, let's get started. Kashmir and Ladakh are two regions in the northwestern part of India, bordering Pakistan and China. They are known for their beautiful landscapes, rich culture, and diverse wildlife. They are also known for their harsh winters, when snow covers the mountains and valleys and temperatures drop below freezing. But in the winter and spring of 1877-78, something extraordinary happened. The snowfall was so enormous and incessant that it surpassed anything that the oldest inhabitants had ever seen or heard of. Lydecker estimated that the snowfall in some places was from 80 to 40 feet thick on the level, and in some ravines it was at least 150 feet thick. The snowfall lasted from October 1877 to May 1878, and in some places it snowed without intermission for more than 10 days at a time. The effects of this massive snowfall were devastating. Many buildings, including the Traveler's Bungalow at Dras and the huts of the European visitors at Gulmarg and Sonamarg, were crushed down by the weight of the snow. Whole hillsides were stripped of vegetation and soil by huge avalanches that swept down them, leaving gaps in the primeval forests and filling the valleys below with rocks and trees. The roads and passes were blocked by snow, making travel and communication impossible. The most tragic consequence of this snowfall was the famine that followed. The crops and fruits were destroyed, the cattle and sheep were starved or frozen to death, and the people suffered from hunger and disease. Lidecker wrote that the famine was so severe that many people resorted to eating grass, leaves, bark, and even human flesh. He estimated that about one-third of the population of Kashmir perished from the famine. The snowfall also had a terrible impact on the indigenous animal life. Lidecker observed that many animals, such as bears, leopards, wolves, foxes, jackals, monkeys, and deer, were either killed by the snow or driven down to the lower valleys where they were hunted by the starving people. He also noted that many birds, such as pheasants, partridges, pigeons, and crows, were either frozen or starved to death. He wrote that the only animals that seemed to thrive in the snow were the snow leopards, which preyed on the other animals, and the marmots, which lived underground and fed on roots and bulbs. Lidecker's account of the last major snowfall of Kashmir is a remarkable document that gives us a glimpse of a historical event that changed the lives of thousands of people and animals. It also shows us the power and beauty of nature and how it can sometimes be cruel and unpredictable. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. And if you want to see more videos like this, please let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.